Nikhil Lakwani is joining us live on the broadcast from ITO Delhi. Nikhil, can you tell us about the current situation? Well, the current situation continues to be grim as earlier and this is the day four of the ITO where, which, where this place continues to remain flooded and we are currently reporting from outside the PWD office which is also one such civic agency which is also making the effort to make sure the water is removed at, at the earliest. But this is also one of the biggest failure of all the concerned agency and the department that despite no significant rainfall in the capital city, they have not been able to remove the water at least from the ITO side. But you can see uh, in this particular picture you can see that what is the range as far as the water level is concerned uh, at the ITO place. Uh, on the right hand side where the barricading is of that particular road so people have been moving in support of that particular site and there is this other picture where you can see some of the children they continue to be inside the water despite all the warnings actually which has been given by the administration they, that they should not go because there could be any of the pothole there could be any of the cave, caved in road we have already seen that how the incident of the uh, droning have taken place since last few days in the capital city because of the heavy rainfall but on the other side which my uh, camera person Vikas uh, Kumar is going to show you that there is deployment of the Delhi police personnel to make sure that the traffic flow is smooth as possible and also they have a duty to uh, make sure that nobody enters inside the water if it is not necessary which we have shown a while back as to how some kids uh, are continuously taking uh, the in fact they are enjoying the life of their time so such is the situation at the ITO but if we talk about the overall impacted places in the part of the national capital ITO is one such region uh, which has been impacted there is Yamuna Bazaar as well which was impacted and affected in the very first place and there comes the ITO side which we are reporting from Red Fort side is another place and also the Rajghat area from where next we are going to report live from so these are the low lying areas where the government so far have failed to remove the water but there were some of the uh, water treatment plant which was shut because of the excess uh, rainfall but now uh, Okla and Chandrawal they have restarted their work and this is something which is a sign of relief for the Delhiites because 25 percent of the water supply was affected because of the same. So Wazirabad is one such uh, water treatment plant which needs to be re restored at the earliest. So not just the officers from the Delhi government but also the leaders of the Aam Admi Party they are also making sure to provide the directions but at the time when they all should work collectively the verbal spread the allegations are being made from both the sides at a time when the officers should listen in as to what their leaders have been saying or what the ministers have been saying there is allegation from the Aam Admi Party Please side stay with us we have another ground report from Pragati Maidan आर्मी का जो ऑपरेशन है वो लगातार जारी है क्योंकि यमुना के जो 32 गेट है उसमें से चार गेट खोलने की मशक्कत लगातार इंडियन नेवी कर रही है मेरे कैमरा से आपको दिखाएंगे ऊपर हाइड्रोलिक मशीन है और नीचे कंप्रेसर है और नीचे पानी के अंदर जो है वो एक्सपर्ट कूदे हुए हैं नेवी की एक्सपर्टीज होती है करीबन एक हजार फीट तक पानी के नीचे वो जाके ऑपरेशन को अंजाम दे सकती है क्योंकि ये गेट जो है करीबन दस पंद्रह फीट नीचे तक है पानी के और इनमें काफी दिनों से मट्टी जमा हो गई है इसलिए एक चुनौती है कि उस मट्टी को कंप्रेसर से हटाया जाए यहां पर एक जेमेनी करके जो इनकी एक बोट होती है एक्सपर्ट की वो यहां पर इसको भी पानी के अंदर कुदाया गया है और यहां पर एक्सपर्ट अभी आप देख सकते हैं ये तार लगे हुए हैं जो इंडियन नेवी इंडियन आर्मी के जो जवान है वो लगातार इस बैराज के ऊपर और पानी के नीचे लगातार मौजूद है कोशिश ये की जा रही है कि चारों गेटों को जल्द से जल्द खोल दिया जाए क्योंकि अगर आप आगे देखेंगे तो पानी का फ्लो एकदम लगातार बना हुआ है लेकिन उसे कंट्रोल करने के लिए वो पानी इस तरफ शिफ्ट ना हो इसलिए अभी पानी को यहां पर रोका गया है और अभी कोशिश है कि ये चारों गेटों को जल्द से जल्द खोला जाए ताकि जो बैराज से पानी छोड़ा जा रहा है वो यहां पर आम सड़कों पर ना आए और उसका फ्लो जो है वो बना रहे यही वजह है कि लगातार इंडियन नेवी को यहां पर बुलाया गया है दिल्ली की टीम है इसके अलावा उसमें मुंबई की टीम है जो लगातार यहां पर चार गेट को खोलने के लिए मशक्कत में जुटी हुई है so the flood situation in the national capital continues but the water level in the Yamuna River has started receding but the situation still remains uh, grim in the national capital. Now Prime Minister Narendra Modi also spoke to Delhi Lieutenant Governor V.K. Saxena about the status of uh, flood-like situation in Delhi and the progress that has been achieved in mitigation. Meanwhile, politics has also erupted over the water logging and the situation in Delhi. The Aam Admi Party has blamed the BJP government in Haryana 
for releasing water through the barrages it controls into Delhi that caused the flooding that was unseen in several decades. Aap called the floods a conspiracy by the BJP and alleged that the water is being released into Delhi only by Hathni Kund Paraj. We have Nikhil Lakhwani who is live with us from ITO. Nikhil, what is the IMD pr uh, prediction for today and for the coming days? Warning, and in fact, there is uh, there has been an orange alert for the capital city. That means if the rainfall, significant amount of rainfall, if it happens in the capital city, then it is going to further add on the woes of the residents of the national capital. Yesterday, as well, we have seen that uh, some parts of the capital city, including that of Noida, they received rainfall uh, after the prediction. But today, the uh, prediction continues to remain same, not just in the capital city, but also the Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand as well. That for next three to four days, they are going to be very much crucial. In fact, in some parts of the Uttarakhand, some cities of the Uttarakhand, some towns of the Uttarakhand, they have also a red alert. That means heavy to, uh, you know, extremely heavy rainfall is going to take place in those areas, which means that the river Yamuna, which finds its origin from the Yamunotri in Uttarakhand and it uh, comes uh, after crossing the state of Himachal Pradesh, that means the water level is further going to increase if excess rainfall is going to take place. So we have to make sure that not just in the capital city, but also comparatively low rainfall should take place in those states as well, because the situation continues to be grim here. There are many of the efforts which needs to uh, be further made by all the concerned department as uh, men mentioned by Anand Tiwari as well where this report was playing out that Indian Army, Indian Navy as well, they are doing all their level best to open up the further gates so that the proper flow of water could be maintained uh, further in the capital city. So before that, if any of the rainfall further take place, it is going to increase the problem. And this is something, the situation that we are currently reporting from is the situation where the significant rainfall has not been received in the capital city for last five days. So imagine what if it rains heavily in the capital city, then we can only imagine that how the drainage system, which has already collapsed, they are further going to backflow the water, which is already in the current position. But uh, speaking of the same, again, I would uh, ask my camera person to show you the visuals, particularly of those uh, children who are standing at the center of the ITO which is equally risky at the same time. As mentioned earlier, Anshali, uh, there are many of the children who have lost their life because of the droning. But such is the situation, even the uh, police personnel who have been deployed in the nearby area, they are also not paying heed. They are just standing, not doing their duty properly. And such is the situation uh, where the incident like this, the droning takes place. So you can see that is the place where even we are worried to uh, go towards to. So this is the condition of the capital city. And again, there are many of the areas which are continuously submerged in water, but places like ISPT Kashmiri Gate and Civil Lines area, they are now reporting receding and declining uh, as far as the water levels are concerned. Also, uh, the re reason is that it comes in the VVIP area. Many of the officers of this uh, senior uh, Aam Army Party government, they reside there. So the work has been done at that particular area at the war footing level. But there are other areas as well where the work needs to be done at the earliest. Back to you. So the situation that Delhi witnessed in the last few days has raised a lot of questions on the authorities. So what all is being done to, uh, in order to avoid such a situation in the future? Okay, so uh, it appears so that there are some of the laborers who are now going towards their work site. It appears so uh, with which we can see that they have been assigned on some particular task. It could be anything by any of the civic authorities, but uh, they all have to work collectively, be it MCD, uh, the uh, PWD officers from where outside we are reporting from, uh, right adjacent uh, to our side is the PWD headquarter, which is also flooded uh, out of the Ramuna, Yamuna River. But uh, the uh, central government is also making sure that the situation continues to be, uh, you know, it, it should be restored at the earliest because this is the national capital Delhi where we are reporting from. So we have to also see as to what kind of support is given to the Aam Army Party side, to the Delhi government, especially from the centre, especially from the Home Ministry. But LG as well, we have seen uh, that the they are also working round the clock. He has been visiting uh, multiple places. He has been there on the ground zero. He has been working on the field. He has been inspecting in person to see as to how exactly the work is being done. And in 
केस इफ एनी ऑफ द डायरेक्शन नीड्स टू बी गिवन ही इज ऑल्सो डूइंग दैट वर्क एज वेल